Hello everyone and welcome to the video. We are going to talk about the toothpick bridge project that we're doing in sixth grade. Now there are two things that we're going to concern ourselves with and those two things are constraints and criteria. Now let's actually talk about criteria first. I don't know why I wrote it a second. But anyway, uh, the criteria are the things that we need to have in the uh, building process in order for it to work. So for example, the length of the bridge is a criteria. It has to meet that criteria. If it doesn't, it falls through or it goes excessively long and it wastes materials. So length. An example, uh, one period is doing 50 centimeters this year. That is their criteria. The span that they're going across is 50 centimeters. If they make their bridge exactly 50 centimeters, it will fall right through. So technically, you have to make your bridge just a little bit longer so that it rests on that ledge. If we have too much, that's a waste of materials, and if we do it too little, it'll just snap at that point, or have too much weight on a small surface. So we need to take that into account. The next thing is strength. For this particular group with the 50 centimeter bridge, it was to hold 2.5 kilograms. That's the weight that it had to hold in order for it to pass uh, or meet that criteria. So length, strength, and the last one was to be under budget. So the budget that they had to stay under was $550,000. That might seem like a lot or very little when it comes to actual bridges, uh, but it all depends on the price of the material. So for this year, it is $2,000 for each toothpick. So what that means is I have the potential to use 275 toothpicks. That is the maximum I can use. I cannot use a single more or I will go over budget, which would be bad. So don't do that. But now let's shift over to constraints. Now technically, some of these criteria could also work as a constraint. The fact that I have to stay under budget is a criteria, but my constraint is the number. So this part right here would go under constraints. That also affects the number of toothpicks. So those two things would go under my constraints. So now that we know their criteria, the things we need to have, and our constraints, the things that are limiting us, we can get started on designing the kind of bridge that we want and then move forward with our blueprint and finally putting it all together with glue. So in the next two or three videos, we'll work on that um, and move on. 